Hey guys, welcome to the City of Heroes slash Villains Review. I'll be covering pretty much a good amount of the, the game so you guys can enjoy and try it out for yourself. Now at the beginning of the page you can create your own character choosing if you want to be a hero or a villain. Now once you chose, I chose a hero, you can choose what kind of powers you want. You could be a blaster, controller, defender, or scrapper, or tanker. Now I don't want to get too into detail, but pretty much each power has to do with what you're going to do through the whole game. So pretty much you're going to want to read this. Peacebringer and Warshade are, are like what you get when you reach a certain level. I think it's level 20. So I think I chose Scrapper. Um, I think it's, you know, melee or whatever. Now after that you can choose if you want to be a science, mutation, magic, technology, or natural. Um, pretty much what it has to do with your superhero or super villain. If He's going to be magic, you want to make him look like all magician-y and whatnot. Mutation, make him ugly. Science, make him look like a biological scientist. It's pretty much, you know, your superhero. <laughs> now, the power I chose, such as Scrapper, I can use a sword, I could use thorns, claws, and all that stuff. Now, creating your character is very fun. You can make him as big as you want, heavy, small or even fat, or even a black cop, or whatever you want to do. It's your decision, your character, and you know what guys, let's get to the tutorial. Now a really cool thing that I noticed with this game was, when I was creating my character, I can change the colors of pretty much my weapon, which I really can't do in a lot of other games, and this is going to be really cool when I'm playing this game throughout maxing out my character. Okay, now, the tutorial is something you really want to do. For one reason is the controls. I was getting really confused at one point on why my view wasn't moving, and I'm used to playing WoW, and, you know, RuneScape, where I can just, you know, automatically put my view where I want it. Now, this one was weird. It just stayed there. It, like, didn't want to move back with me, and I ended up running, and I was, like, going on a slant and it was really bothering me but besides that you'll get used to it but the gameplay in general is really fun such as in the tutorial when I was killing you know NPCs I was actually enjoying myself just doing that and once you're done with the tutorial you have a choice of going to Atlas Park or Galaxy City now I choose Atlas because you know, it's more main, like, it's pretty much the main city to me, and it's where I started out. But once you're done with the tutorial, you'll end up, you know, right here. So, once you get here, you're probably wondering, what the hell do I do now? Well, if you're a child, well, you're, you're going to have to, you know, level, level yourself up till you get the money to buy the full version. But you're limited to very things. Now, you're limited to talking in broadcast which is very helpful such as here I can't talk in broadcast because I'm only a trial now pretty much the game is you get to level 50 collect badges along the way there is PvP which is very fun I remember that from a while ago um, now you're probably wondering where my cape is well you get a cape at level 20 I believe and you can buy many other things too I don't want to give the game away but it's a very fun game. You can get really into it. Now, the only downside is it gets really repetitive at one point. And if you get to level 50 and decide to make another character, you're not going to be as excited as your first character getting it, you know, to level 50. The only problem is with the, like, repeating is the, uh, how do I say, the levels that you go through, the always look the same for some reason like they never change like they will change but they just keep looking the same and it just gets really gay and that's one of the reasons why I stopped playing this game and now I bet you're wondering is it a populated game yes and no it depends on good and bad days they're coming out with a new patch so you know if you want to start playing now here's the time but other than that, guys, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun flying around, running super fast, jumping super far. And you know what, guys? I'm done with this review. I hope you liked it. It's my first one, so I'm all done here, guys. See you. Good night.